how much is this decision by the city of Johannesburg going to hurt independent schools? Good morning, Bongani, and good morning to your listeners. It's going to hurt many schools to the point of closure, which will put an, a huge number of children at risk. We all know that the Gauteng Department of Education is already pressurized for places in schools. And we can, we're talking about some 25,000 children if all independent schools had to close. Obviously, not all will close. So it's, a, it's about the children, it's about the teachers, and it's about being reclassified as a business as opposed to a non-profit organization or public benefit organization. The examples I gave in my introduction are real examples, not hypothetical ones. Correct. Those are actual bills compared June to July. The bill that came through in July was the higher amount as promulgated in the policy for rates. So even as the matter is now before the courts, that obviously has not stopped the city from issuing these bills. No, it hasn't, but it has stopped the, the city from taking uh, action against people who don't pay the bill. Look, the other side of the argument, and will be, uh, there is a distinction between a, a public benefit organization and a non-profit, right? A lot of these independent schools, uh, though they are public benefit organizations, they are essentially businesses that are about making some profit. Um, yes, but I think we must distinguish carefully between those that are registered with SARS as a public benefit organization and those who are res registered as a business for profit. I think there's a clear distinction here that we must make. The majority of schools belonging to NAISA are, are public benefit organizations carrying out a public benefit activity. The problem has been that the city of Johannesburg has blanketly said all private schools, private colleges and private universities will be treated as a business and commercial rating will be applied. Current events, developing stories, tough questions, your voice making a difference. This is Breakfast with Bongani Bingwa.